And the first guy that I want to talk about, because I think the guy that will go the fastest, I think the guy that's the most likely to get picked up is Ryan Noda. Ryan Noda is just a fantastic baseball player out of the University of Cincinnati. He went to Grant High School where he was actually the point guard on his high school team. I have talked to Kevin Malaszewski, and Kevin Malaszewski is from the Chicago area as well and got to play him in basketball in high school. And Mallow, as they call Kevin Malaszewski, will tell you that Ryan Noda is the best athlete that he has ever seen. I think the way that he put it was he was absolutely unreal at point guard. He would take the ball off the rim for a rebound. He would go coast to coast, and he would dunk on the other end. That's how athletic Ryan Noda is at six foot four, 215 pounds. He is very big. In 2021, he led all of AA in home runs and in walks. And then this year in 2022, he hit 256, and he hit 25 home runs which is very good. His OPS numbers are fantastic. And again, he was second in walks this year in 2022 in the PCL, and he had 20 stolen bases. Try that one out for size. Ryan Noda had 20 stolen bases. So he's not just a big lumbering slugger that all he does is swing and miss and then hit a home run occasionally. This guy can hit, and this guy can hit to all fields. His very first home run for the Dodgers, actually his very first at bat came, in 2021, he came over to the Dodgers in the Ross Stripling trade with Kendall Williams. He was one of the players to be named later. In his first at bat with the Dodgers, he hit an opposite field home run. So Ryan Noda, again, last year, he led AA Central in 2021. Last year. It wasn't last year. It was 2021, but he led AA Central. It's now the Texas League again this past year in 2022. But he led AA Central in 2021 in home runs and walks. And this year, again, he was second in walks, and then he hit 25 home runs. And honestly, I'm going to tell you point blank, in 2022, I don't really even feel like Ryan Noda really got in the kind of groove that he can get into. I think he had a good year, but I think he is capable of much, much more. I do think the Dodgers are going to lose him, and I'm telling you right now, it's going to sting me because I love, I love watching this young man play. I've gotten a chance to talk to him on a couple of times every time I message him or send a tweet out about him. He always responds to it. He's a wonderful young man. I know Frank Paparonis and my good buddy Pete Paparonis, they will be very sad about it as well because he is a wonderful human being, a great baseball player. I do think the Dodgers are going to lose him to the Rule 5 draft. And like I said, it is going to sting more than most Dodgers fans, I think, will ever realize.